servant working for a prominent master for years and years ago. He do all kinds of works to his master without any hesitation and complaints. At this stage, the servant thought, I am the best, I am better for everything like my master. I am enlightened with his teachings. Now I will go back to my place and do my ministry. One fine day, the servant see the master and said about his plan. Master smiled and said, you are the best servant of mine. You do all works for me with dedication and keen observation. Okay, all right, you can go now. But finally, when you are leaving from here, you, are, you can do a small work for me and you can leave. The servant was upset because years and years ago, he is working there. When he is leaving from there, my master is saying like that, he has a dilemma. Anyhow, he thinks this is the final task of my master. So I did not hesitate it and asked the master, 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 what can I do for you? The master replied, You want to construct a beautiful, strong and a best house for me. The next day onwards, the servant started the work in a rapid way with some other helpers. Within two months, he finished his work and gave the key to the master. The master was very happy. He was astonished and he said, you are the best, dedicated, honest, transparent and sincere servant of mine. But till now, I did not give you anything for your service. Today, this day, I am giving a gift for you. Keep this house for you. It is for you. It's a reward for your service. The servant was upset and shocked about the words of the master because he did not do his work faithfully. Beloved in Christ, thought of this day morning is the ministry of servanthood. The ministry of servanthood. The key verse is from the chapter, the gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 20 verse 28 says like this, just as the son of man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. If we see our Sarampur College emblem, there is a Bible verse as our motto of our college. It is written in Latin. In English, the wise shall possess glory. Proverbs 3.35. Likewise, United Theological College, UTC, Bangalore College emblem is in Greek. It is the key verse of our today's passage. Matthew 20.28. 20, Even as the Son of Man is not came to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a redemption for many. The word servant has two different Greek words origin. One, dulos, it means slave. Another one, diakonia or diakonia. It also appears 38 times in the New Testament. What is its meaning? One who serves, service among others. A servant is a humble person. A servant prepares. A servant perseveres. A servant serves where needed. A servant serves as God's will. In the Bible, Moses is called as the servant of God. Revelation 15.3 Mary, the mother of Jesus, called herself as a servant. Luke 1.38 St. John, disciple of Christ, called himself as a servant. Revelation 1.1 1, 1. St. Peter called himself as a servant. 2 Peter 1.1 1, 1. All the believers of the Christ are the servanthood of God. For the ministry of servanthood, what is needed? What is needed? The primary pathway is surrendering servant. The way for a ministry of servanthood, surrender. 
surrendering servant if you open the bible the acts of apostle chapter 9 5 says he asked who are you lord i am jesus whom you are persecuting who are you lord i am jesus who are you persecuting in this passage we have a famous conversion story in the history theologian william barclay records this passage this is not a sudden conversion but a sudden surrender this is not a sudden conversion but it is a sudden surrender saul makes threats and murder against disciples of christ for that he buy letters from the high priest and traveling from jerusalem to damascus among 140 miles 225 kilometers on that journey on his way a sudden light from the heaven flashed around him and he fell down he fell down that time he record he say this word he say this word god called him saul saul why do you persecute me he replied who are you lord who are you lord at a time he surrendered at a time he surrendered the word is important lord the lord the word origin is from greek it means kurios my lord my god in saul or paul spirit the people only call the roman empire or emperor as kurios my lord almighty but before his con- conversion to christ he surrendered himself and first answer from his mouth is i am surrendering my lord who are you lord kurios my lord my lord i surrender to you all all power he express his words he surrendered himself to lord jesus christ in this passage we have a dilemma we think there is saul and paul as a theological community we want to think paul or saul paul has a dual citizenship not change his name saul is a hebrew name paul is a roman name he has dual citizenship so his conversion among that he surrendered as a servant of christ today friends we all have a familiar vocation we all have a familiar call for our ministry of servanthood recall this morning rethink this morning or we a surrendering servant of god the secondary way for the ministry of servanthood is suffering servant not only surrendering servant suffering servant in isaiah 53 verse 7 says like this he was oppressed and he was afflicted yet he did not open his mouth like a lamb that is led to the slaughter this passage in ot we can hear it in more time in good friday services on under the suffering servant this passage is coming if we see this background of this passage if predictive prophecy is possible is it possible to god who inform us what will happen in the future yes if we believers that it makes all kinds of sense we can believe it means yes this prophecy is talking about lord jesus christ it has another reference in bible acts of apostle chapter 8 26 to 14 there the same verse is recorded on that place an ethiopian enoch was reading this isaiah 53 chapter on his chariot on his journey on that time he did not understand about the meaning who is the suffering servant who is the suffering servant in that passage holy spirit guided christ disciple philip and philip also joined on this journey and he explains about that ethiopian ruler yes suffering servant is lord jesus christ suffering servant is lord jesus christ friends we are called to be suffering servants of christ in his vineyards i wonder why i was not born as a christian i wonder why i was not born as a christian who said this was not me but our honorable west bengal chief minister mamata banerji didi says this in new delhi in a conference on july 31st 2018 
He records this. I wonder why I was not born as a Christian. Why? Because the suffering of the missionaries, saints, God's people, it's admired me to push to do my work in hardships said by our beloved CM of Best Bengal. She is an other faith believer. In the 21st century, God needs suffering servant to his work. They may be the true cross-bearing servants of Christ. Jesus Christ is the exemplary model for a suffering servant. Yes, our founding forefathers, Professor Reverend Dr. William Carey and the trio, they suffered a lot this place for that only, on that ministry only, for that suffering only. We are under a big banyan tree. Yes, that is Sarampur College. Sarampur community, we are getting fruits. We are under the shadows, yielding good fruits. Great forefathers suffering. Today's pastors, we think for the ministry, ministry is a jolly thing. Ministry, we can get all kinds of comfort, but not that. For ministry of servanthood, we are ready to suffer. If we want to be a true suffering servant of Christ, we want to come from our comfort zone. Dr. Billy Graham, American evangelist, say like this, come out from the comfort zone, otherwise it will kill you. Come out from the comfort zone, otherwise it will kill you. Servanthood ministry is not sleeping on a comfort mattress, cotton mattresses, but it is the path of trials, temptations, hardships, thorns, agony. Likewise, so many sufferings are there. Friends, are we ready for a suffering servants of Christ? Finally, not only surrendering servants, not only suffering servants, finally, sacrificing servants. Sacrificing servants. To be a sacrificing servant means we sacrifice our rights in order to meet the need of others. For this only, the key verse saying like this, just as the son of the man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. Jesus came to give his life a ransom for many. What is this ransom for many? We humans, we are in the grip of a power of evil, which they could not break. Our sins dragged us down. Our sins separated us from God. A ransom is something paid or given to liberate our situation and free us from the sinful nature. It cost the life and the death of Jesus Christ to bring the human back to God. He showed and proved in the cross as a sacrificing servant. Years ago, he proved, yes, I am the sacrificing servant of all humanity. Not for some community, not for north, not for south, not for rich, not for poor, but whole cosmos, whole universe, I am the sacrificing servant. God needs servanthood ministers to do his work. He shows the exemplary model. A real servanthood is not only making people qualified for the kingdom of God, but to bring the kingdom of God into this world. To bring the kingdom of God into this world by proclaiming his life, work, service, love, compassion, peace, sacrifice, as Christ showed, I am the sacrificing servant till his life's end. Till his life's end. This day is the National Philanthropy Day. In our world, so many philanthropists are there to give so many donations they will give. In India, there is Tata, Ambani, Brilla groups, so many of us are there. In world level, Bill Gates, so many of us are there. But in today's, our topic, in this contest, who is the highest philanthropist? Our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the highest philanthropist in the whole cosmos. In the whole universe, he is the highest philanthropist. Yes, he came to this sinful world to give his life. To give his life for ransom for 
many. So, friends, are we a sacrificing servant today, in this morning, make a challenge. Make a challenge. I am sacrificing servant of his vineyard. Any kinds of tribulations, any kinds of trials in my life may be fall also. We are come to be serve God. In a theological college, a professor in his class once asked the students a question, what is the highest atonement or sacrifice in the whole Bible? What is the highest sacrifice in the Bible? He got so many answers, different answers from the students. But the professor was impressed by a particular student's answer. He got up and said like this, Sir, in the Old Testament, the sheep died for the shepherds, for the remission of their sins. But in the New Testament, the shepherd died for the sheep for the remission of their sins. This is the uniqueness. This is the cheese of the Bible. This is the main theme of the Bible. Christ is the pinnacle. He is the ultimate. He is the climax. Yes, sacrificing servant. Dear friends, future pastors, presbyters, pastorate chairmen, district ministers, future bishops, moderators, future theological professors, and so today, in this morning, make a resolution and ask our conscience as we are a surrendering servant for Christ. As we are a suffering servant for Christ. As we are sacrificing servant of Jesus Christ. Fix these three yes. This is the way of the ministry of servanthood. Take this word and go through the world and shine like stars. Let us all rise up for prayer. Bow our heads in prayer. Dear Lord, our Heavenly Father, once again we thank you for listening your living word this morning. We found that the gospel of Jesus Christ is the most transforming power in history. We believe that the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. Lord, impress these words in our hearts with indelible ink. We believe you alone can change our hearts. Equip us to be a surrendering, suffering, and sacrificing servant in your vineyard. In the tender and powerful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Receive the benediction. As we depart from this place, may the everlasting grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the boundless love of the Father, and the continuous presence of the Holy Ghost rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Please be seated. Announcements.